I want to talk about anxiety because anxiety is a big reason why a lot of people drink too much. And I think a lot of people feel really embarrassed to admit that they're socially shy. They feel embarrassed that they feel they're not coping really well with life. They feel that everybody else is getting on with their lives better than they are. And anxiety for most people, because they feel ashamed, embarrassed, they don't share their problems with people because of it. But when they drink, that's a different story. So I wanted to just be a little bit lighthearted now about the anxiety journey, because what we do know is when people drink, they become more relaxed and they become more chilled out. And then people get hooked into the feelings of the anxiety. And, you know, a lot of the reasons why people are drinking is just to have some space, because when we drink alcohol, we actually increase a chemical called dopamine. And dopamine is the good feeling you get when you feel relaxed and chilled out. So what do you think about if you do drink because of anxiety? I wanna share with you three ways you can reduce your anxiety so you're not drinking to become that person you think you're not sober, okay? Now the first one is start to create an environment in your life where you can start to feel relaxed. Go out of your comfort zone and go out to a function and decide not to drink for a period of time, even just for half an hour, and watch what happens in your mind. Observe yourself. What are you feeling? Guaranteed you're talking negatively to yourself. You're being really unhelpful. You know, you're not relaxed enough or people think you're boring because you're not drinking. You know, just start to make a note in your mind or even make a note in your on your phone or whatever what you're talking to yourself about because when you drink the alcohol because of the chemical reaction of the dopamine you're more relaxed right you're feeling more like yourself now that is a key moment to let you know that you are that person without alcohol the dopamine is increasing it So you need to find ways to increase your dopamine. And I'm talking ways to feel more empowered and liberated. Now, what I would suggest is to start to do things that make you feel good about yourself. So this is my second moment. The first one is to get a diary to understand when you're in that situation, when you're drinking, what do you feel? Because you can decide to have a drink, but I want you to observe yourself. I want you to learn more about yourself, not just to assume that you're boring when you don't drink, because that's not true at all, okay? What is important is just understanding what's going on. Number two, find ways to stimulate that dopamine. Exercising, laughing, watching a funny movie. Start to practice feeling the sensations of dopamine without alcohol in your bloodstream because the more your mind and body experience dopamine naturally the more it won't need it from alcohol okay so really important point to think about and number three if you're drinking because you're anxious okay is this a is this a habit a lot of people and I know this for a fact because I've been helping people reduce their drinking for so many years, is that underpinning all anxiety is habit. You know, we perceive this fearful situation is going to happen. Am I going to make a fool of myself? Am I going to be an idiot? Am I going to be, you know, um, feeling like I don't belong because everybody else seems so much more relaxed than me? Okay, that's an inner language, a, a dialogue that's a habit. So start to bring in As my top tip number three, bring in some positive dialogue within yourself that reflects you being in a better space. Now, the mind does listen. So the more you practice mantras, I feel safe not drinking, I feel calm not drinking, I am worthy of being in this company without drinking alcohol, start to create mantras you know, set your alarm on your phone every few hours to remind yourself how amazing you are sober. And these, these beautiful mantras, these little moments, when you repeat them over a period of time through your day, your mind starts to believe them. This is the power of the mind. And this is one of the many techniques I show people on my six week boot camp, So they can start to realize that anxiety, it's not such a big gig when you change your thinking. 
when you understand what's going on before the drinking. And this will make such a big difference to your results to drink less. So if you'd love to subscribe to more top tips with me about how to drink less from anxiety to insomnia to how to improve sober self-esteem, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.